So if I want to figure out the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence, like, you know, how many, how many triangles are in this Sierpinski triangle pattern, um, we are going to use a formula for this one. Okay? So we are going to use... So our formula here is nothing, nothing's going to be too new here. A is still going to be the first term. R is still going to be the common ratio. N is still going to be a uh, number of terms or which term I'm figuring out. So if I say how many triangles are in, are in this guy, well, okay, first let's, let's look at the pattern here. And I did this pattern the other day as well. We start off with one, one big one. And then I've got three little ones, not, not little, but smaller. And then uh, purple triangles, I'd have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. Uh, yellow triangles, I'd have 27. And we can see I've got a geometric sequence. But how many times does that go up? 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to the 5, all the way to the blue ones, which would be the fifth term. So with my, with my sequence, and I want to know a series, I want to say, um, first, what's my common ratio here? It's going to be 3 divided by 1. My common ratio is 3. First term is 1. And I want to find out the sum of the first five terms. So the sum of the first five terms of course, it's going to be uh, 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 27 plus 81. That's all I want to know for now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, so to do this, let's <coughs> put it down here a little bit. Um, to use that formula, the first term is going to be 1. So that's not going to change anything. Times common ratio of 3 to the power of n, 5, take away 1, over, the brackets are important here, especially when you're using a calculator, common ratio minus 1. So the sum of the fi first five terms here, uh, the numerator gives me 242, and 3 minus 1, of course, gives me 2. So the sum of the first five terms would give me... So we've got 121 triangles there. Sum of the first five terms. Done. What I'll do is I'll give us some examples where I just give the sequence and then ask you to find the sum of the first uh, n terms. You've got to still calculate the common ratio and all that. Here we go. Uh, we're going to get a decimal when we work this out on the calculator, so I'm going to say the nearest whole number, uh, the sum of the first eight terms of the sequence. So um, first of all, I want to find out the sum of the first eight terms. Um, n is going to equal 8, of course. My first term equals 250. My common ratio is going to be uh, term 2 divided by term 1. 300 divided by 250. And from here, substitute it into my sum formula. Here's our sum formula for the geometric sequence. So I want to know uh, sum of the first eight terms is going to equal my first term times common ratio to the power of n, 1.2 to the power of 8 minus 1 over bracket common ratio 1.2 take away 1. Now how, whoops, not 8, S, 8. How I do this is I treat the numerator and denominator separately and try not to do it all in one step. Just give me a value for the top part, put it in the numerator. Now, for the numerator, I will get decimals involved, which is why my answer is going to be to the nearest whole number. And 1.2 minus 1 just gives me 0 
So the sum of the first eight terms is going to be my answer I get on the calculator divided by 0 0.2 and I will get a decimal 4.4124 so to the nearest whole number that's going to give me 4125 